Hello. Welcome How back to the day seven. Day seven, yeah. Day so seven. Uh, today it's uh, just Brad and AB and uh, no Lego. Lego yeah, escaped from our studio yeah, just now. Uh, Lego is kind of flaky. It just flaked me out. So, yeah, uh, because, you know, yeah, he the, wanted to play he's some playing Brand 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 Battle. Brand Battle, yeah. yeah so, uh, yeah. No wonder he got to the top mm -hmm. 100, yeah, just and we are just uh, playing PE mode. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I just cannot say he's uh, try harder because like I'm <laughs> yeah. just much worse than him. So, uh, <laughs> yeah. so anyway, welcome back, and uh, yep. tonight we'll have the game uh, between Plab and PLEB and uh, ECL Eclipitos. Yeah, and thanks uh, a lot. We got amazing crew. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so. Uh, yeah, PLEB, obviously, like uh, we mentioned earlier, they are the team from U European service, and yep. uh, this is the first time uh, they come here and to challenge some uh, Asian teams. Yep. And uh, ACL Eclipitos, yeah, we are really? quite familiar with them. Huge fan base. Yeah, huge fan base, and every time, every stream, uh, it's, if, if it's only about uh, like ECL uh, Eclipitos, you can it's see the comments like, energy. take my energy, yeah. It's kind of uh, like uh, reminds me of my childhood because like uh, yeah. I watched a lot of uh, Dragon Ball comics yep. and uh, Goku. They're really good at uh, doing the the, the, the take the, energy. The, yeah, yeah. The, the, the bomb, you know. But, the but you know, he's already got the most energy mm, in the world. Mm, yeah. So uh, yeah, I believe like uh, Eclipto is like gaining so many energies from you guys. It must yep. be really energetic. And uh, so we're uh, really looking forward to their mm -hmm. gameplay because, yep. like, every time they can bring us really good and wonderful matches to us. Yeah, so and the uh, both two teams that they are from mm -hmm. the English community, so hopefully yeah. they can, you know, actually you know, uh, do a lot of conversation mm -hmm. in their yeah. daytime. So uh, yeah, and uh, also, uh, by the way, the yep. Lego, the flaky guy, uh, yeah. he will come back on this Sunday. So it means this Sunday, yeah, this the Sunday we still have tomorrow. a game. Yeah, we still have games on Sunday, so yep. uh, please tune in and uh, uh, won't miss out then. And uh, tonight, the first game, PLEB, ECL, the map is going to be the Warford. Warford yeah, the again. very classic map. Yep. And both two teams, they are really, you know, professional teams. Mm -hmm. For ECL, they have won. Uh, Japanese uh, team, GNG, uh, also a great team like previous top eight in mm -hmm. CBL and PLEB, they have won like NLP yeah. on the day three of this time CBL. So yeah. let's looking forward to their performance because they are both the winners mm -hmm. from previous games. Yeah, I believe like uh, especially uh, both teams are pretty good and uh, so we're looking forward to seeing in their gameplay. Yep. And uh, the second uh, match today is going to be EFS S. versus uh, uh, OF. OF. Yeah, EFS, you know, uh, we just have a, had an interview with their captain, yep. Legolas. And uh, so we, we basically know their secret about winning a game. And uh, yeah, maybe yeah. now he's taking the shower, personal yeah, stuff. Yeah, yeah, personal. This is just like private time. Yeah, yep. it's up to him to uh, take a really good shower and clean himself. Yeah. So, so uh, let's jump back to the game between mm -hmm. Eclipto's and the Plab. Yeah, the game is about to start, and yep. uh, let's jump into the preparation stage. And uh, the yeah, Warford very first game. Eclipto's ECL, they're gonna be the attacker, and uh, obviously Plab, they be the defender, the red side. Yeah, both two teams pretty cautious about the lineup of their units still changing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And for Eclipitos, I believe they uh, most likely they bring Iron Reapers and Model and like several group of high tier coveries over there. I noticed that someone said, said uh, finally Apollo shirt, shirt, uh, not shirt, sorry. Apollo oh, shirt, yeah. It's word. kind of, uh, it looks kind of a uh, uh, business style today, yeah. So, <laughs> hope you guys like that. And uh, now the uh, game is about to start. Let's just prepare for watching the game. At the very beginning, the Eclipitos, they have brought one group of gunners. Seems like they are really determined to get the seat tower mounted in a really quick way. Yeah, and uh, also some of you guys, obviously, uh, some of uh, the Dragon Ball fans too. Yeah, I think we can find a really good time to really talk about uh, the 
the Dragon Ball. I'm really <laughs> a big fan of uh, Dragon Ball. And uh, now the game starts. Uh, the ECL, uh, the attacker, now uh, they split like the two sides. And uh, obviously the first goal is absolutely the supply point in this map. Yeah. And let's say if uh, Pleb, they will just like put some defense around the supply point. Yep. Seems like they are really mm -hmm. yeah. stopping the ways of the attacker, trying to climb up the walls over there. So it uh, seems like uh, the uh, Pleb, they just won't give up their supply point, and uh, at least uh, they assign some people to defend the point. Yeah, time to reach it now. Mm -hmm. yeah. And uh, Ecliptos, uh, they pay the close attention to the, to the gap, so they just want to like, uh, destroy the wall as soon as possible. It will just like, uh, open a, a gate for them. And also at the same time, they'll try their best to uh, push the siege towers. And uh, this is kind of uh, the, the common sense that uh, yep. in the early game, pushing Sage Tower is the first thing to do. And uh, now uh, it's rare to say the supply point is still there. Yeah, strongly guarded by Pleb. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but I think that's fine. Because uh, like uh, yesterday, we just saw a different uh, strategy from, uh, from another team. Like uh, they were just defend the wall to, uh, to, defend, uh, to defend their rest, uh, all the points. Whoa, you can see the Pleb players, they're acting, maybe trying to use those covers, besiege those units, trying to enter inside of the city. Wow, that's kind mm -hmm. of something new. Yep. And uh, now house rushing, and the uh, cover is charging. Like front charge. Mm -hmm. Oh, the Pleb, their gameplay is uh, pretty aggressive, and uh, it uh, reminds really me new. of uh, the, the, the old time about CNC. They will just uh, like uh, do some uh, yeah, recovery but, but rushing. Yeah, but it's like uh, the very beginning of the game, and mm -hmm. they already did it. Yeah. Quite a you know, brave move, actually, yeah. especially in professional games in yeah. CDL. Yeah, and uh, obviously the Pleb uh, for the house rushing at the, at the beginning of the game, it didn't work well. And the uh, Eclipitoids, uh, they just like bay down uh, their enemies. And uh, now they have a great chance to come on into the city because like the wall is already broken. Yep. And uh, with the, the chamber, and uh, the Eclipitoids now is uh, going inside the city. They're still around the gap here. And Not so many defenses down mm -hmm. the wall over there. Yep. I think Aclipitos uh, now uh, they are pretty determined that like they want to besiege wow. the point A. You can see both two teams they are mm -hmm. playing like mm -hmm. in a really new way. Mm -hmm, yeah. Even before the you know Sage Tower got mounted, they just all the players just got inside of the city. Yeah. And uh, now Aclipitos decides to go into the wall from the left side. And also at the same time, his uh, their teammates uh, from the right side, from the stairs, are uh, come to support their teammates. They are totally besieged the uh, blab around the point A here. Yeah. And you know, this kind of remind me the game of Aclifto mm. in last time. They just last time they were the defender, and they just sent so many troops, and especially Navagas, and here just doing quite a lot of damage at this narrow place. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And from the la previous games, because uh, like the last time we, we noticed that the Pleb, they're really good at hiding their units behind the house. And so normally, uh, so you can see now the, the team fight now initiated behind the, the buildings, behind the house. So it's quite uh, chaotic right now. Uh, but I think uh, Aclipito is uh, basically they are controlling the situation. And now he's taking over the point, point A. Wow, even before the mounting of Three siege towers. That's really something new, and uh, you need really to be you know, brave enough mm -hmm. and bold enough to take down the point in one wave. Very good beginning for uh, Aclipitois. Uh, they now uh, rush to the point C to see if there are any chance. Yeah, and they are leading 200 unit troops in the game. Yeah, the, the early game is uh, so good for Aclipitos, yeah. yeah. And uh, even without pushing Sage Towers, uh, they still take over the point A. 
And now the next step is pretty clear for Eclipitos. And uh, from the map, we can see Pleb, uh, basically most of them are running their, around their supply point. Yep. And uh, so many squads are mauled out and the uh, palace guards and the uh, iron reapers, uh, very tanky units all yep. around there. And the point B is uh, totally yep. empty. It's uh, available to take. So uh, Eclipitos, they will just take a no rush and uh, simply extend the time. Defenders now are waiting for the attackers to come on in. Yeah, you can see Eclipitos, they are not even planning to you know, get the siege tower to push. Mm -hmm. The main gate, is and uh, the destroyed wall is actually pretty enough for the... Yep. Well, you can see Pleb, they're getting back on the wall around the point A. Seems like they are not willing to let the Eclipitos to set artillery on over there. Okay, now defenders uh, is trying to control the the the, the wall because like the, it's it's just just basically can offer you uh, a good vision for the point C yeah. or the supply point. So that's is a very good choice for Pleb. And uh, Eclipito is uh, still around the, the stairs and uh, next to the gap. So it's uh, basically both sides uh, still are testing each other to see any chance over there. And Eclipito is uh, the players just killed the one hero from the uh, Pleb. Now it's time to come on in. Wow, Eclipito is uh, from the left side, they're waving in to the internal city. To yeah, the point C. This, this kind of reminds me of CDEL did. Mm. Because, you, you know, they really see this opportunity mm -hmm. when they so, see so many defenders are on the walls. Mm -hmm. So they just switch in direction. There's no need to, you know, fight over the war over there. Yeah, battle is uh, happening everywhere. Yeah. And they're pretty chaotic. And uh, I think uh, the Eclipitos, uh, they are kind of uh, overwhelmed. Uh, Plaf with their coveries and uh, they totally sweep out the enemies uh, in front of the gate. Yeah, and then you can see on the left wing the attacker, Eclipsos, they have set a global gunner over there mm. doing a lot of damage to the defender. Yeah. And there's still a squad of Moda out there and only several heroes. Uh, you just, uh, it's kind of difficult to beat Moda. Well, Iron River over Mordal, mm -hmm. a big fight. Yeah, but situation around the point C seems not, like not going well for Pleb. Child's play. And Eclipto is, is trying to kill two heroes left uh, for the point C. Yeah, not so many defenders on yeah. the ground right now. It's mm -hmm. time to dominate the point C and yeah. but also the supply point. Yeah, and uh, 14 heroes alive for Eclipitos and only 10 heroes alive, or 9 heroes alive for Pleb. And uh, Eclipitos now is leading 300 units in the game. Yeah. It's uh, pretty good for them. I think if they can like uh, uh, kill the heroes around the point C, they have a greater chance to rush the final base. Yeah. Uh, for now, we can see the Pleb already not, uh, realized yeah, that. So they are definitely prepared mm -hmm, at this so moment. Yeah, and so you can see the the, the overall situation is kind of controlled by the Eclipsos and they got like over 10 minutes over there mm -hmm. they got time to prepare it's, and it's only the final phase to yeah. take 10 minutes left for Eclipsos, pretty ready they are still waiting around the point C just like elevate the situation around the final base they have a greater chance to take over the game because like, they're leading so many units. And uh, I believe they will just like set up some artilleries. Yeah, especially Ballista. You just go for killing heroes and all the units will be retreating from the point. And uh, this is a kind of really, really good strategy. You can yeah. say from the map. Uh, Mortars and Ballistas. Mm -hmm, yeah, they are setting up. Pleb has to keep moving to yeah. avoid the damage from those artilleries. There are not so many units left to defend the point. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, the final base, the grand stage is uh, too difficult for defenders to yeah. defend. Yeah, you know, the attacker still mm -hmm. got 10 championships over there. Yeah. Because like uh, simply the, 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 the routine between the supply point and the final base is uh, pretty clear. So attackers, they can clearly f foresee, foretell your, what, what the action you're going to take. Yeah. So they just like uh, need to uh, take the time and uh, use artilleries to deal with some damages and uh, without hurting themselves. And the capital is that the, the bow players is uh, trying to do some damage with himself and uh, the champs are still going on the way. They still got eight champs in the game and uh, the final base is totally open for the championship. Yeah, championship hit to block the way mm -hmm. and the Activito, they are taking action. Mm -hmm. They are taking they chance go to for the supply in. point. Oh, they are going to secure the platform first. Yeah, and, and the flag, they see this and send more reinforcements mm -hmm. to the supply point. But I don't know whether it is a good yeah. uh, choice over there because yeah, you know, your, your ground yeah, will no, just be empty. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, and uh, I, I can only see some low tier units try to yep. beating down the Mordal and the Iron Reapers wow. and also the Cabaret. It's kind of uh, impossible to. You can see this is kind of the sea of units. Mm -hmm. yeah. And the more attackers, they see this opportunity and go for this final base. Mm -hmm. yeah. And it's kind of totally empty, only one hero defending that point. If I will activate those, I will gather like two or three group of troops and they go straight to the final base Shots and that's back. what they are doing now ashes to ashes, dust to dust. okay ashes more to heroes ashes, coming on the way to, to capture the final base it's totally empty wow They're really 600 units right now great and game uh, and quick game by eclipse the enemy is about to capture the final totally uh, winning over plaid so uh, the first game, we can say the winner is uh, Aklepitos. Uh, congratulations! Go. Uh, and congratulations to Aklepitos. And uh, yeah, let's say the, the MP from both sides. Wow, and, you can uh, use so many S yeah. on the Aklepitos team. Yeah, so the MVP from Aklepitos is uh, Duan. He got six kills and uh, wow. one death and 17 assists. So uh, 23 hero deaths. Uh, related to him, so uh, it's absolutely amazing KDA and at the yep. same time got, he killed like 118 troops in the game yep. and he killed so many low uh, high tier units so that's it's uh, pretty amazing and also we can say the teammates like uh, Rhesus and also the the Ruby and uh, killed a lot of heroes in the game with uh, yep. remarkable KDA and uh, also the player Long and uh, especially the, the MVP, I, I, I just noticed that some people is sending the energy to you from, yeah. the, from the bullets. And uh, so uh, He must yeah. be the Goku in Eclipse. Yeah, you are the hero who saved the game. So uh, Pleb and the MVP is uh, Kicker Balfi. So he got the four kills, two deaths and uh, zero assists. And he killed 82 troops in the game. Yeah. And he killed uh, 11 gunners and uh, 9 eye rippers, 8 berserkers, and uh, also a uh, pretty amazing kitty. Yeah, another and player with strong mm -hmm. personal skill. Yeah. So uh, for the very first uh, game, good I game like, for uh, both two teams. Yeah, both two teams played uh, uh, pretty well. I think uh, Eclipitos, uh, the uh, the goal is pretty clear, because like uh, they say, some people is defending was defending the the point, uh, the supply point, and uh, they just uh, retreated from the supply point, and uh, their goal was so clear that they, we, we can just like you can see. They just so determined to go inside the city through the gap, yeah. and uh, they know their plan, and uh, their uh, plan is pretty good. And uh, they try, they were trying to besiege enemies from the from the stairs from both sides, yep. and uh, they yeah, just nailed it with yeah, one simply way. Simply, it just worked. Yeah. Yep. And uh, also, they must uh, like study the the Plavda's game because they mm -hmm. know the Plav is really good at hiding some uh, Nava guards and uh, some uh, long range yep. units behind the house to do uh, constantly damage and uh, constant damage. So, Alipitos, uh, yeah, they performed uh, very well yep. uh, for the very first uh, game. And uh, the second uh, game is uh, still be Warford. So, yep. both sides, they were going to switch sides. Plav will be the attacker on Warford. Yeah. And you can see both two teams did. 
play in a really different way, mm -hmm. unlike yeah. uh, the games we've seen before. Like, like uh, for club, at the very beginning, they just choose two different supply points. Yeah. Like, I'm not, you know, giving it f to you for free. And like Eclipse was like just the response like mm -hmm. no, okay uh, you just defend it I don't need it and mm -hmm. they destroy the war and totally just wave in and take over the point A. Yeah, we can simply feel to that kind of uh, the vibe in the game. Yeah. Like uh, the player, they just won't like uh, give you some easy ball. They just want to like protect all the points uh, they have. And the uh, Eclipse uh, they are very clear plan and also yep. worked well. It's got like uh, in, the, in the previous games, uh, we, all, um, we always like uh, mentioned that uh, pushing Siege Tower is the first thing you yeah. need to do at the beginning of the game. But this time, Eclipse said, no, we don't want to do that, and uh, we have another good plan. Yeah, they just so end it in a really quick yeah, way. Yeah, and let's do it. And uh, they are really good uh, like uh, implanting wow. actions into the game, and uh, it's, it's really good. And uh, both sides, I believe, like uh, Plap, they are pretty experienced team. Uh, they played uh, so many games uh, in the European service, yep. and uh, so uh, both sides are veterans. So I think uh, Plap, they will just like adjust themselves in a really quick way to uh, really to yeah. know how to fit into the game, how to fight with uh, Eclipitos. Yeah, and, and I believe like today is kind of the first mm -hmm. lose for Plap, so maybe yep. they need to adjust their mindset. Yeah, and uh, we can also say that uh, the Plab their gameplay is pretty aggressive and uh, yep. pretty creative because like at the, in, at the beginning of the game, they just open the gate and uh, release the squad, uh, several squads of units and yeah, uh, try to is. charge down their enemies and uh, it's a very good idea. Cause yeah, like, it's uh, kind of the things that we uh, usually do in our daily matches when you mm -hmm. try to get a lot of KDA. Yeah, so uh, this kind of a uh, good, but simplicity just uh, didn't work because Eclipto is uh, they simply just like prepared for that. Better. Yeah, so uh, they just like uh, yeah, successfully defended that. So a very good point. And uh, next, the match, uh, Warfort. And uh, so I think uh, for the regular gameplay, people will just take over the supply point first and then go to the point B. Yeah. So yeah. But we, we just can't assume mm. the next uh, battle will be regular. Yeah, again you just cannot can uh, predict that. Both like two teams are really uh, innovative and creative. Mm. So mm -hmm, we are yeah. really excited about what we are going to see. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so uh, just like uh, Lego mentioned uh, yesterday. <laughs> so, Let's go! Yeah, because like he said, uh, yeah, bow is uh, totally, it's a very good weapon. It can kill a lot of people. Uh, yeah, because yeah, I'm, I'm a kind of a terrible bow player, so I just cannot uh, understand that. Yeah, and but you know, as an FPS player, I actually chose bow and the short bow first mm -hmm. uh, when I first played Conqueror's Play. Mm -hmm. And you can see bow, uh, a lot of heroes that have like a mm -hmm. unique um, play style, so you can mm -hmm. just try every heroes and find the hero that most suits you most. And I believe Lego, they have find he had to find it. And for you, I believe the Dachi well, it's still your favorite, right? Yeah. So uh, that's it. that's also why because uh, we are so happy to see Plab they can come to Asia servers to play with uh, yeah. the agents of the ga the teams. So that's is very good to say because there are different regions. Uh, because uh, like uh, in last uh, last time CBO, uh, when streaming in the SA games, SA mm, server yep. games, so we can see the SA teams are totally different from the Asian uh, teams. Yeah. Cause, like, because like they they're, they're more patient. patient. Yeah, and then they prefer using uh, more and they prefer using some uh, like other units, uh, yep. we, we can never say. And uh, th also the map choice is uh, totally different. And uh, so uh, this is a very good to watch, very good to say. Because, yeah. uh, uh, you know, the the fusion, people love fusion. Fusion. It's, uh, <laughs> yeah, this kind of feeling. So uh, Yeah, so I can see today's game is a fusion again. Mm -hmm. Europe versus Asia division. Let's see the match two. Plat will be the attacker and it seems like they Send more troops on the left wing of the burst place. So, unlike uh, the last time, they as a defender, they will go for the supply point. Seems like uh, they just have a really bad thing for the supply point. Okay, game is on. Yeah, game is on. Yeah. 
hold. Yeah, the game two now uh, is on the blue side, Pleb, and uh, the red side, Eclectos. And uh, Pleb is uh, trying to win this game because they've already lost uh, the very first uh, game. And uh, now switch sides, still the same map. And uh, seemingly, the Pleb, their goal is for taking over that supply point. And uh, I believe, like uh, Eclectos, uh, they are just uh, totally abandoned that point. So no need to waste uh, any units on that yep. on that supply point, and, and that is so difficult to defend. The bridge. Mm -hmm. So this is kind of a regular start. Yep. And you can see, it seems like a one player player didn't uh -huh. enter the battle successfully. Oh. So only 14 heroes, and that will be a huge disadvantage. So hopefully this player will get back soon, and really, you know, helping his team. Yeah, so uh, now I think uh, the game will be uh, totally as uh, follows the, the point supply point and the uh, point A, pushing Sage Tower things. And uh, still one Sage Tower is uh, pushing forward and uh, Pleb, they prefer go inside the city through the gap, just like uh, Eclipitus did in the last yeah, game. Yeah, you can see the rest of two Sage Towers are not get pushed mm -hmm. at this time. Yeah. So wow, they just did what Eclipse in the last time, so let's see what will Eclipse do as a defender. Okay, so they really just blocked the way at the stair to really stop them to get inside of the mm -hmm. city. Yeah. Because for Eclipse, we know that they have a clear goal. Well, to know what they yeah. want to do. And their response is really quick. Mm -hmm, yeah. So now uh, the both the defenders are now leading 200 units. But I think that, that because of uh, the defenders just bring, uh, the, the attackers just bring some uh, high tier units more than the defenders. Okay, and the club now is already on the stairs. Uh, try to wave in, but Eclipsos take a different. Uh, okay, yeah, now uh, Eclipsos they just besiege those units on the stairs mm -hmm. with those model. You can see that model they are just a really powerful mm -hmm. on the walls and on the stairs, even more powerful than the royal janissaries. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so uh, for successful the defense at this time. Yeah, very good situation for uh, Isel. Yeah, and it seems like you know both two teams they are not really focusing on siege towers. Mm -hmm. So one siege tower they mounted, not even got stopped by the defender. Yeah, Still. I can see the message ECL. ECL. Oh, this is so some many fans. No, it's kind of uh, trash talks. ECL, go home. ECL, go sleep. Okay, okay. The vibe is already. Yeah, this is about uh, sports. Yeah. So uh, I think that is kind of a good thing. And uh, Eclipitos, uh, the both sides, you got the fans uh, support you. And uh, let's just go for the, for the game. Yes. And Eclipitos, uh, now they are doing pretty well for defending their points. Second and, uh, battle. Yeah, Pleb is uh, getting outside of the city to try to regroup themselves. And uh, seems like Eclipitos is already outside of the city trying to, yeah, try to chase, chase down, down those, those heroes. heroes. Yep. Only three heroes from Pleb side. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because um, like, uh, we know the Pleb their gameplay is uh, pretty aggressive. Yeah, so uh, especially as an attacker, they will just take uh, some uh, really radical and uh, really aggressive gameplay. Yeah, you know, for Pleb, it seems like they left uh, a lot of heroes. They are not uh, mm -hmm. actually doing anything. So uh, I think the game... The situation uh, is kind of weird. Yeah, kind of... Uh, Let's check with Jessica. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry. Uh, it seems like there is an issue, so... Yeah, seems Guys, like please some, uh, wait for a few minutes, mm -hmm. and then we will see what, what's going on over there. Yeah, because like uh, the the pleb, uh, apparently they are the team from the the European. Yep. Europe, so uh, it's kind of uh, they need to the the, the, the network can, uh, issues. Yeah, uh, there so might yeah, be an issue. Happened, uh, sometimes, yeah. So yeah. we totally understand that. Yeah, both two teams they can yeah. you know just have a friendly communication over there, mm -hmm. so they can have a 
Yeah, result. that's just like a uh, way for the feedback from our director and the uh, referees to see how uh, to see how they yeah. how things goes. Maybe we will have a game three mm -hmm. <laughs> in the siege bat mm -hmm. battle map. Yeah, just just uh, take a few minutes. Yep. So uh, yeah, let's talk about the uh, Dragon Ball. Ball. <laughs> I knew it. Yeah, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I'm, let's just about that. Uh, yeah, maybe One Piece. <laughs> <laughs> maybe One Piece. Oh, yeah, also One Piece is yeah. also okay. Naruto is OG. fine too. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm so into some all, manga. All things uh -huh. we see in our childhood. Yeah, so uh, really, really good. And uh, now uh, let's get back to the CBL. Game, yep. Yeah, CBL, about the games. And, so uh, so today is the kind of the day seven of uh, CBL. Yep. And uh, we'll have the second round of uh, knockout stage and watch the so many good game plays. Yep. And uh, like, what kind, which, which team, like, uh, which part of the CBO in this time yeah. uh, impress you most? <laughs> are you, uh, are you deciding you to like interview me now uh, because <laughs> we don't, you know, you uh, haven't invited those captains from like Liverpool and something? Yeah. Okay, so for me, it's like uh, seeing so many mm -hmm. new things happening in old maps, just like today's match. Yeah. Like both two teams, Plaid and Activitos, they're just showing us a lot of new strategies mm -hmm. over there and they are proving themselves that uh, their ideas can work and yeah. also CBEL the also a uh, creative team bringing new stuff to the world for the so mm -hmm. this is kind of the things that I enjoy in this mm -hmm. time CBL mm -hmm. so what about you <laughs> yeah. uh, what invest me most days is uh, Lego <laughs> Legolas, yeah no Absolutely. not a leg Lego not Lego. Lego is oh, just no uh, wonder he just uh, yeah, you know go like go away because he, he I kind don't even <laughs> care about that flaky guy. You know? Whoa! Yeah, he just like uh, I will. He said that he will be here yesterday. Yeah, but actually, you said that, not he said. That. <laughs> but yeah, he, he said yes, and uh, okay. he was just like he was pretending to be like really oh. active and uh, oh, bad guy. <laughs> Hyping for the for the CBL, I, I see Lego. He say, "Let's go!" And the, this kind of thing is so fake. You it's know? just a pretend. Yeah, I think the it's kind of fake brotherhood. Mm -hmm. over yeah, there. fake brotherhood. Maybe you should yeah. just you know go home and watch yeah. those comics. Let's just uh, yeah, ja let, this, let uh, Dragon Ball heal yeah. your heart, broken yeah. heart. I think uh, this this season's uh, the CBL, the the one of the the interesting part is about. Uh, the interview part because like uh, yeah, but actually we, we are preparing for inviting other captains yep. uh, to, uh, to, our, to, our, to our to our stream yep. and uh, i think that is fun to very fun to watch because like this is a very good interaction with uh, you guys and uh, especially from the teams and we know the first hand information from the captain and uh, for example legolas yeah he yeah. takes a shower before a game and that's yeah. the secret to make Sensei win five Maybe he's title. just uh, fooling us. <laughs> so that he can still be the champion of CBL. Okay, okay. he just keep taking shower. I think that's his... Uh, that's, I think that's gonna be the meme for, for CBL. Yep. Yeah. You wanna win? You better take a shower. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, yeah, so... And also, Lego asked... Uh, yeah, I mentioned that, that guy again. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. That guy asked uh, ask a really good question. Does uh did like a uh, Legolas take a code or hot <laughs> water? Hot shower? Yeah, that's a really good question. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, if he mm -hmm. took hot shower, he will be in the hospital. Yeah. So. So uh, definitely cold water. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, I'm not sure if uh, the the team uh, like uh, the for the pleb and we will restart the game or or something. Yep. And uh, still Maybe are waiting for the feedback from uh, our director yep. and the uh, start the game again, but. Mm -hmm. You know, this kind of situation is kind of awkward because, you know, for the defender and the attacker, mm -hmm. they will know each other's intention. Yeah. So they can, like, kind of have a second chance to prepare mm -hmm. for the attack. So, yeah, this let's see. But it's not only about strategy, it's mm -hmm. also about uh, the cooperation of mm -hmm. your team and also the skills yeah. of each player. Yeah, the cooperation and the communication is uh, the teamwork stuff is yep. uh, very important in the game for sure. And now, oh, now it seems like uh, we are gonna restart the game. So due to mm -hmm. some uh, some issues, uh, the player because like they are from the 
the European service, so it's pretty far from here. Yep. And uh, it seems like uh, seems it, uh, our referees uh, decided to restart the game, so uh, let's just wait. Yeah, it's maybe like uh, 14 versus mm -hmm. 15 is kind of unfair, so both two teams maybe have a discussion about it and they agreed to mm -hmm. restart the game. So we will have like another game. Mm -hmm. In a really yeah. quick way, both two teams are getting ready. So yeah. audience, sorry for this, and uh, get ready for the game three in Sage Tower. Warford again. Yeah. So uh, two teams now are uh, re rejoining the, the the room, and uh, it will take some time. And uh, let's just uh, wait. Yeah. Because you know they are at the. European server, so the network mm. issues might be the reason. So, yeah, it's just a uh, more interview question. No, no more questions. No more questions. It's just uh, like, uh, yeah. That's and just maybe, maybe our audience can give us some questions that you want to ask about those captains on the comments and we will see them receive them and uh, maybe mm -hmm. next time we will check those questions and ask them to mm -hmm. your favorite commanders mm -hmm. of those teams yeah so uh, yeah guys so if you want to uh, want us to ask uh, any questions you just send to us yep. on discord and also on the comments so uh, yeah we, we, uh, we just like we have we have some people to read that yeah and so you know today's cast of the four teams are all pretty amazing Mm -hmm. You know, Eclipsos, Plab, EFFS, our previous champion, and uh -huh. OF, the winner from Group D. So today is going to be a big day. Mm -hmm. Even the God know this and led the game to start again. Yeah. <laughs> what a coincidence. Still, those two teams maybe checking the network again and ready for the game three. Actually, game two. So, uh, yeah. So. Yeah, yeah. Um, Brad is gonna give us a wrap or something. Yeah, wrap. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's kind of awkward. I want to read some comments, but I can see just like some chat talks. And the emojis. Yeah, guys, calm down, please. Because, like, <laughs> yeah. uh, you know, we are all Conqueror's Blade players. So like, uh, we know this is a competitive game, so uh, something like uh, will trigger people's emotion. And yeah. uh, but we welcome because, like, we're all of us are Conqueror's Blade players, fans. Yeah, just to uh, enjoy yeah, the game. Yeah, just enjoy the game. We play the same game, and uh, we just won't want to be like. Uh, having like the toxic community or something yeah just like uh, let's play together it's uh, let's have fun together so and that is the basic uh, why we held the cbl why yeah. we invited so many good teams here because in uh, esports e yeah. when you are in the game we are just all equal mm, and yeah. uh, we can just uh, enjoy the game and uh, you know just to uh, win the yeah. game is uh, like the uh -huh. overall goal of everyone yeah, so uh, yeah, now uh, I, I see two teams are already in the room, so yeah. let's just wait for the game to start. Let's go. Clap and Eclipse. Mm -hmm. Both amazing teams bringing amazing performance. Mm -hmm. Yeah, now uh, let's jump into the preparation stage for, yep. the, for the game two. And they're still on Warford, and yeah. uh, this time the Pleb is going to be the attacker, and the uh, Eclipse, they're going to be the defender. Yeah, so do you think they will just change their unit twice? Mm -hmm. Or just, uh, you know, whether they will change their strategy? Because their opponent have seen what they are going to do. Okay, uh, from the first place twice, seems like a Pleb, they will continue their previous strategy over there. And the same for Eclipsos. The burst play is quite similar and unit choice for, for Eclipsos. Uh, kind of a uh, four group of high tier cowboys and two group diamonds. Quite a typical 
line up as the defender. Come on, enjoy the game and let's go. Clap and activate toes. The game two. It's now one to zero now for Plab. They must win this round to have a game three. Let's see who will be promoted to the next level. Game two. Okay, now the game two gets started. Uh, the red side that defend the uh, PLEB and uh, the attacker PLEB. PLEB is an attacker. Yeah. So uh, let's see how they are gonna play the game. Yeah, and, and it's uh, now fifteen versus fifteen. Hopefully this round will nothing will happen and just the, the game. Yeah. So obviously Plab is uh, going for the supply point first, and no one's there. And yep. Eclipto's, uh, they are just totally abandoned the point. Yep. They try to defend their point B and also the point A. And now at the same time, the Plab, they are trying to push their siege towers, getting to the wall. And uh, this kind of, uh, the strategy kind of different. So they just won't go inside through that gap, seemingly. Yep. It's kind of a traditional way. Siege towers and the, the broken damage uh, bridge over there. The Brad, take my energy. Thanks for that, man. Yeah, I hope I'm already. F I'm feeling that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you I can, feel that. Uh, and you will transform to the second form. Yeah. Okay, the war is got, got destroyed. So uh, yeah, the the wall has been uh, destroyed. So there's gap over there. Yeah, I'm just telling some facts. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And uh, the siege tower is still pushing forward into the into the wall. So, uh, but before that, uh, Plab is already uh, on the wall, on the stairs, trying to wave into the point A. Yeah. And uh, with uh, several squads of berserkers, uh, berserkers are so good at. Yeah, uh, it seems like with, uh, no defenders uh, over the wall. And they just go for the point A. Mm -hmm. Seems like Eclipse, they are totally changing their strategy over there. Mm -hmm. Get prepared for defending the following waves. Yeah, so uh, kind of a uh, good strategy for uh, Eclipse. Yeah, you can see both two teams, they choose mm -hmm. to attack the point A from the stairs yep. instead of waiting for, for the, the stage tower. tower. Yeah, so they just want to control the game, not just... Yeah. <laughs> wait for the siege tower post and the uh, uh, most of them now are around the supply point and uh, some of them are around the, the, the point they say they are yeah. waiting for the attackers to come on in you know what Eclipitos are doing now they are taking the energies at the supply point yeah yeah that's good that's yeah good. a lot of energies from our audiences mm -hmm. and for a plab they are building mortars on the wall for them, they must win this round. Yeah, and the uh, no one's uh, on point B, so Flab uh, just uh, takes time to, uh, to to can, uh, to claim the point B here. So the time gonna be extended uh, over twelve minutes, I yep. believe. Seems like uh, Aclipdos, the this round they are playing it in a typical way, unlike. Uh, Kind of a new strategy in Warford is that you just abandon point A and point B and defend your uh, defend your enemy on down the stairs mm -hmm. in a really close distance. But right now they are at the supply point and point C using artillery both sides, so it's kind of returning to like 1990s. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I said someone just said Lego. Come on. 
That guy just came here for once and uh, he got some fans. That's <laughs> yeah. ridiculous. Yeah. And we got I mean, zero fans. Yeah, I think you just, this is just a kind of a type, typo. You, you just want to say, let's yeah. go. Yeah. yeah so. Or maybe we, we can you know, get to the top 100 and we will get fans. Uh, okay. Okay. That makes sense. Yeah. yeah. So. Maybe next life. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And okay, uh, now go. with the help of uh, champs, let's uh, let's say if a club will go down the stairs to wait for to the supply point. Yep. Seems like they are still waiting for the chance to come on in, and yeah. now are using artillerys and the gunners mm. to deal damage from far away. This will be a long preparation stage. Those two teams use gunners and mm -hmm. artillerys. Yeah, Modal is uh, so, they're so ready. They are guarding their uh, gunners. Mm -hmm. It's kind of a uh, really good cooperation of units in our games. Still, Plat, they are waiting for their time mm -hmm. to come in. The champs are coming on the way to try to block the, the gate here. And uh, so now a uh, pleb, uh, just like uh, covered up by the, the champ, they're waving to the point to say, I believe like there is a team fight. It's going to happen very soon. Already, that player, they're entering the point C over there. Just kind of like sneak into the point. And use champs to block the way on the supply point. And now, Pleb, they are acting mm -hmm. now. Go for the supply point. point. Yep. So basically, if you, your time is uh, pretty enough, I wow, think the nice supply hit. point always be the first choice, yep. the best choice. Wow, uh, but you can see those gunners from the defender. They're just mm -hmm. really annoying. So you can see that a little bit of hesitation from Pleb's side. Mm -hmm. You can see the defense is just kind of unstoppable. Yeah, so uh, it's not that easy to take the supply point. Yeah, I not good timing. Though they get back to the wall again, do some extra preparation. So it's kind of the time to decide, decide the point C or the supply point. Okay, they go for the point C again. One yeah. defender reinforce this point. Yeah, not that easy to take that point. Aclipitoes, they are coming to support their teammates to defend the point yeah. they see here. And uh, for the attack, they still got nine champs, and uh, yeah. one champ is coming on the way, try to hit the supporters from the Aclipitoes. But and, uh, you know, this, that uh, champ is came a little bit late because yep. already a lot of groups of defenders mm -hmm. have to go for it. Okay, the now uh, they are changing the direction again. It seems that they try to take over the supply points. Uh, it's, uh, but it's still like uh, safely guarded. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Strongly guarded. Yeah, both sides uh, drive a uh, very hard bargain here. Yeah. They just want to say it's really good, a quick uh, response yep. to, uh, to the game. You can see the artillery is on the wall by the attacker mm -hmm. really doing a lot of help. Yeah, now the, the team fight initiated here, and the club is setting one more. Uh, one Great shot here. Yeah. Yep. And also, Akito is uh, so determined to defend the supply point, and uh, most of their units and heroes are around the points. And uh, at the same time, the gunners are shooting each other, and also the artillery are keep shooting. The Mordau as the front line try to defend the enemies uh, from there. Okay, now the team fight's pretty chaotic. We just yes. cannot say who's gonna win the wow. fight. Wow, defenders covering the siege those units from behind. A really nice yeah. move by Apollo. Yeah, they took the chance and uh, they beat down the attackers here. Successfully defended their supply point. Yeah. So now uh, only four, five heroes alive with uh, Pleb. They have to retreat from the, the internal city and get back to their supply point to bring back some units to help them. Yep. And, uh, Taking now, energy again, yeah, so ready uh, for the attack. The units, uh, the number of units, is uh, they are pretty same. Cause like, uh, pretty they much. are only 100 mm -hmm. units gap. So, and uh, Plab, they are ready again. Yeah, ready again to try to start the second group. wave of attack here. Yeah, group up behind those 
fences, mm -hmm. Let's and say use champs. If they go the supply point or the point C. Okay, supply point again. Because for now, you still got the time to go for the supply mm -hmm. point. Yeah. But in later, you, you, you will not have enough time. You must yeah. go for the point C. So for now, supply point will be the first choice. So let's see what they will do. Okay, they use traps to block their way, so that means that they cannot enter mm -hmm. supply with this side, so they just switch in direction, but you know, the, that champ came a little bit early, so more mm -hmm. enforcement can you know, attack from behind. No need a huge damage taken, you know, those rare st attacks. Yeah, very good choice by Pleb, they just uh, try to uh, block the entrance uh, the, the from, from the, the supply point. point to the point C. So uh, some of uh, the team members is uh, trying to take over the point C, but soon Eclipto is stopped that. Yeah, it's kind of a regular fake move at, mm. at this point, but it, it still play. works. Yeah, and now uh, Eclipto is uh, leading 200 mind. units in the game. So basically, that, that wave of attack uh, like, uh, sacrifi uh, sacrificed a lot of the units so yeah. uh, for Pleb. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. so yeah. now Eclipto is uh, they are coming back to the point C and uh, controlling the situation yeah. here. Yeah. So kind of good for Eclipto. And only one, two players waving to the supply point, and that is uh, way too less. Yeah, zero alive heroes from Pleb's side. Yes. I think that uh, the situation before is kind of dangerous for Plaid because they just scatter their heroes around the in all over the internal city. So that means you can't group up with your uh, teammates and uh, you just got killed by so many defenders. So it's, that's kind of not a good choice by Plaid. And for now, Eclipse, they know they are winning. So they just go near the gate and ready to stop the attacker at this way. And uh, now it's a really good time for Eclipidos to enjoy their game. So basically they know they're gonna win the game. And so all of them are gonna get out of the city. Yeah. Try to uh, chase down the enemy and, uh, you know, even the gunners get outside mm -hmm. in the city. Yeah, but you know, still like uh, several steps uh, to uh, to take over the point they say. Yeah. So for Pleb, if really they can tasty. take a good chance to wave into the city and uh, yeah, sneak like into the point they say, they have a chance to take over that. Yeah, but the unit number is like uh, 400 versus 800. Yeah. That's kind of a huge gap over there. So. For Eclipto, they know they are winning. Even you know, you take over the point C, you extend the time. I can mm -hmm. still win the game. Yeah, so they just chase down every heroes mm -hmm. from Plab. Yeah, Modal is uh, totally overwhelmed in the battlefield, and uh, it's the kind of a totally dominant the game. Eclipto, so for now, they are trying to uh, kill everyone with uh, uh, the Plab. Only two heroes alive of uh, Pleb. Yeah, and over 200 units left. Yep, and uh, that's his kind of uh, way to last. So one hero alive uh, of uh, Pleb, Eclipse uh, is uh, trying to find that uh, hero. Yeah, left. they just <laughs> chase down every hero. Mm -hmm, yeah. <coughs> so very good uh, gameplay by Eclipse and also the Pleb. And uh, the last uh, hero alive. Another quick game, Eclipse. Yeah, so Eclipse uh, win, win the, the game. game. Win this bracket and be the winner of day seven. Yeah, the MVP again is uh, Eclipse's uh, Zduan. Yeah, uh, very good gameplay. 11, uh, 11 kills. kills. Wow. Are you kidding me? Uh, zero, uh, zero deaths and 12 yeah. assists. Yeah, guys, you are just like a killing machine. Right? Yeah. You got uh, 62 uh, troops killed and uh, 16 more down and uh, killed and uh, four gunners and uh, two uh, like uh, the Nafa guards and also four Iron Reapers, uh, high tier units and three Berserkers. Very good uh, gameplay. 
and the, the KDA is uh, totally insane and yeah. remarkable. Yeah. And also, let's say the MVP from the club is uh, Kika Amia, three kills, and uh, killed uh, 124 troops in the game, and uh, killed a lot of uh, high tier unit, like especially yeah. 24 Iron Reapers. That is uh, pretty amazing. Mm, that's a lot of troop mm -hmm. kills when your enemy got so many, mm -hmm. you know, yeah. units left, and yeah. you can still get an S as uh, even though your team lose the game. Yeah. That's even you know more. Uh, you did more contribution to the team. Yeah, so uh, let's say... Uh, Congrats. Congratulations to... Uh, Eclipse. Eclipse and a very, very good game. And also, uh, yes, uh, we, we want to say thank you, Pleb, and uh, thank you for coming to the to play with, uh, yep. with us. Yeah, so uh, yeah, we know there's some uh, network issues. So you just cannot avoid that. Yeah, uh, high ping, uh, yeah, high pings, like that. Yeah, so that you will definitely you know, influence mm -hmm. the performance of your team. But we can still see the personal skills and also the strategy yeah, of yes. your team. They are absolutely a very, very, very good team. Absolutely. Yeah. They just uh, gave us a lot of uh, wonderful games and scoring stages and yep. also the knockout stages. And uh, they uh, played so well, and uh, I believe they still have a chance. Cause, like, yeah, they, definitely. Yeah. So, uh, so to fight back, and uh, let's take a very short break, and uh, let's uh, and Wait then we'll the get back to bracket. watch the EFFS and versus OF. OF. I just uh, two top one. Every time I just group. messed up with the EFFS. EFFS. Yeah, the let's name. just call them the Earth Federation one. <laughs> okay, okay. Yeah, sure. it's, this is like the full name. So yes. let's take a short break. Very short we'll break. Yeah, back. two minutes. Yeah, and uh, we'll come back. So we'll see yeah, you guys I believe later. Legolas has, you know, taken a shower. Mm -hmm. Yeah, finished the shower. For sure. Yeah. yeah. So see you. See you.